Well, welcome back. Um, this is Mr. Salvatore. I want to do a review. Uh, this is what we've done in the past, and then as we keep going further, we'll do new stuff. But this is about getting change problems. So we spend money at the store. We add the prices to see how much we spend all together. Then we subtract to find how much change we receive. This kind of problem uses addition and subtraction. The key word is change. Okay? And so in Spanish, the word change is cambio. So cambio de nano, okay? So some problems only subtract. Look at this model. The key word is change. Importante, right? It tells you to subtract. So let's look at the first problem. Okay. Mary has twenty dollars, veinte. Okay, she spends twelve dollars and ninety-five cents on the at the grocery store. So how much change does she receive? All right, so let's go and do that. So she has twenty dollars. Okay, and she spends twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. So she spends twelve dollars and ninety-five cents. So we do subtraction. So she spends. Okay, so spends means subtract. So can we do zero minus five? No. So we borrow. So this becomes a one. So now this zero becomes ten. But we want over here. So we make this a nine. And so now this now becomes a ten. And so we have to cross that out to make it a 9. So now this is a 10. So finally, 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 9 is 0. Bring down decimal point. 9 minus 2 is 7. And then 1 minus 1 is 0, so we don't need to write it. So no necessity, OK? So this is how much change, OK? OK? Bismo. Okay. So let's do another problem like that. Okay. So that was the important information. Okay. So let's try a new problem where we're doing this one. Henry has fifty dollars. He spends thirty-three dollars and fifty cents at the auto parts store. How much change does he receive? So fifty, and then we have to subtract the thirty-three fifty. All right. So we write that down. So 50 and then 33.50. So we'll do a new problem. So this is $50 minus 33. How much was that? 33. 33.50. So 33.50. Okay. Zero minus zero? No. We can write zero because zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus five, we cannot do because zero is too small to five. So we have to go to the five, make it four. This zero becomes a ten, so we cancel to make a nine, and this one now becomes ten. So now we can do ten minus five, which is five. Nine minus three is six, and four minus one is one. So here is his change. Okay, because he spent, he spent means subtract. Okay, all right, so that's good. That's another example. Okay, so now let's go back. Okay, again, Gabriel has $10. He spends $7 at the drugstore. How much change does he receive? So again, we go and say $10. So we'll draw a line because there's a new problem. We have ten dollars, and then we have spending seven dollars. Okay, so we subtract. We subtract it. So zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus zero, zero. Okay, bring down decimal point. Zero minus seven? No, nope, can't do that. So this becomes a zero, and now this becomes a ten. So ten minus seven is three. So here is his change. Okay. 
So these are examples of uh, how much money you get back when you spend money. Okay, so those are the few problems. Okay, we'll do this one in the next video. But right now, okay, I would like you to to do problem number one, only problem number one. So John Juan has thirty dollars. He spends twenty three dollars and ninety cents at the do discount store. How much change does he receive? So copy this onto paper, then show me what to do, okay? And then give me the answer and explain what the answer means, okay? Use English words, okay, please? And that's it. And then take a picture and send it to my email address.